Welcome back, I'm Nicole BW, and it seems like I'm always standing right here whenever I start <laughs> this simple life too. You can see my builder working in the background. She's making another house because silly me, I thought leveling up the city hall made more villagers spawn. No, 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 no. You have to have their housing. And I think once each housing gets leveled up to the top tier, five citizens can live in it. Uh, so we can have up to 50. That means we need 10 of those houses, 10 level five houses. So I put one over there and I also put one back here. So I also built this really cute small house back there but I don't think anybody can live in it I think it's meant for me and I already have a house so I may end up tearing it down I don't know I think I'm gonna tear those back two houses down and put another farmer back there because there are more fields back there um, because if we have 50 citizens we're gonna need a lot of food and uh, Maybe two will be plenty. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to make this whole area a tree farm. So I'm going to put another tree farmer back there. Kind of clear it out. Level it out. So we need space for seven more houses. So I'm thinking right next to this mine, I'm going to put another mine. Ooh, maybe not. If it's like a branch mine, maybe I'll put it back here next to the jungle. And then we'll spread out the seven houses from there to here. And we'll put like a road that goes along there and then it comes uh, along the other side of the warehouse. Yeah, I might have to move my farm. Uh, speaking of that farm, I have hunter gather almost done so I took all of the bushes that I already had and broke them uh, all except one which I planted down and now they're spreading I don't need them to spread anymore I've got it all I've got it <laughs> so uh, I may just leave the bushes there though and but block them off so they can't spread too far like fence them in uh, so I broke them all I still had a few here and there so I still I had to go wander around forever looking for some more bushes, breaking them, hoping I got those certain ones. Accidentally turned that one in already. Uh, and then I found some bushes. I didn't find a blackberry bush yet, and I didn't bother going into the nether. I went ahead and got milk and eggs because I leveled up my chickens too. Yay! So I ended up making my cakes and finishing the bakery. Uh, and then wool, you don't really need to domesticate uh, sheep. You can still shear the wild sheep. Uh, so I did that when I was wandering around and got some more wool. Although you can get wool from string. So you can get string through hemp, I believe. Anyway, uh, so I was looking at this and I'm like... What is the deal? Like, I think you could only have one town hall. I wonder if you can have more than one of everything else. Oh, why does it sound like fire? Was, surely that's not that fire. There's not a fire in my house, is there? That was weird. I went ahead and made this, although I don't have the stuff to put in it to make anything. Huh. Must have been that fire. Weird. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to go back on the roof because I like the view. I like the view up here. I like watching my people work. I don't think I've given her anything for that house. The delivery person must have it or she just has everything she needs. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's. Do you want to watch me claim everything? Oh. Why can't I, I can't claim that. That's weird. 
Yeah, I really don't want to claim everything. My inventory will get so full. Um, I might do all of this. It's just seeds. You get the seeds for having the item. So I just turned the item into seeds and then planted it in that garden over there. So <clears throat> these I'll just turn in. These at the end, the bushes, it just has you click. Here's everything you can make with these items from that bush. So we're going to get a whole bunch of food items. And I might put them in the warehouse because I don't want them in my house. Uh, so I'll just collect those. These, however, I ended up getting all of this stuff. We're going to get tree saplings. So I might go ahead and claim these. If we do a tree farm over there, I don't want to plant these trees because they'll tear the trees down. Where am I going to plant these trees where they're not going to come and tear down the trees? I might have to put them underground. Hint, hint, I'm going to build underground. Uh, yeah, so maybe we don't claim those yet until I get a place available. Uh, man, she tore down. I'm so pissed. She tore down my big, pretty pink tree. She And I, she like tried to tear it down. And then she like got busy doing something else. And then she tried to tear it down again. And I kept like replacing the blocks that she would take. And I wasn't even looking. I was busy and she tore it down. I'm so upset with her. I'm so pissed. So we're going to put these in here for now. Uh, okay. Okay. So much stuff. Uh, market. Oh, we get eight back. Okay. The market is going to take... Where's my thing? Uh, do we have... Oh, we have enough. It's going to take a block of emerald. Block. And it's going to take red wool. Red wool. And it's going to take some wood. Let's do jungle wood. I think it's seven. So. That was weird. Why it skipped that one, I have no idea. I um, believe it's going to be like this. The top two blocks might be different. Uh, market. What is the mark? It. Ooh, I wonder if they're, they offer the same thing. Oh, I think that's just wood logs. Okay. Uh, if whenever you click with an open hand, it gives you two of that item, by the way. Uh, detect, claim, thank you for my emeralds back. Okay, so off camera, I'm just going to go into the nether, try to find these bushes. I really don't feel like recording that. I'm going to have to find that. And then we'll be done with that one. Yay. Is there anything else? I don't think so. This. I have these. I just had them in my inventory. <gasps> Why can't I claim it? Oh, I have to. Oh, it's a choice. The other one was a choice too, wasn't it? What would look better with the purple floors? Probably the yellow. I'm going to choose the cyan ones. Uh, the other was a choice reward. Why do I not remember that? I'm going to choose the grape. I prefer grape. Um... Where were we? Okay, so the industrial age, uh, I had cold coke because we already had that going. And then um, I, <clears throat> you seen that I made it, right? And I had this stuff, I just didn't detect it. So I went in and kind of cheaty said that it was done. Because you see that I have it, obviously. Eight steel ingots. After doing the whole 
cheaty thing, my book kind of changed and it actually like registers stuff now. Like it comes up and registers it. It didn't do that before, which is so weird. It's nice, but it's weird. Uh, so I'm going to use this to get up and down. I think I might put it right here. Uh, I don't know. Oh, and I made the balls of moss. Super easy to make those. Okay. Let's put Liz away. Thank you. Uh, claim that. And, ooh, we have slag. We have 64 slag. Look at that. See? It registers it now. It's so nice that it does that. Uh, and we have hemp seeds. Hemp seeds, you take seeds and just like the Pam seeds. Oh, I had a whole bunch of them. Uh, tea seeds, I think, when you break the grass. You just smelt it and it turns into hemp seeds. You just smelt them in the furnace. So that's how I got that. I did eight of them and then I planted them. Um, yes. So I went ahead and made a wand. You don't have to have the white one, even though it says that it's white. Um, <clears throat> I have it in here. I made an orange one because I had orange things available. Uh, and then I went ahead and made a mana spreader, which is gold, a petal, and some living wood. And we get a mana tablet, which is nice. And then I made a mana pool, which is five living wood. Super easy to make these. And we get some more mana, which is nice. It's really nice, actually. Super nice. I haven't done anything else. Ooh, you get a full mana tablet for that, too. Holy cow. So, I think what I'm going to do, it rains all the time in this world. I hope you guys don't mind but I'm constantly toggling rain off. It annoys me. I'm, I'm constantly using this. So annoying. Even when, oh, I wanted to put this, oh, oh, that's right. Uh, I guess I'll just put them in here. Um, even when, ooh, I should put this in the middle of, Maybe put them right here. Uh... <laughs> that is so much fun. Emerald Muncher. So, yeah, you can select seeds, saplings. You can get all the saplings. Or phone meal, apparently. I think the other one you can buy spawn eggs unless they've changed that. Yeah. So, that's kind of cool. Now we have a little uh, villager guy. He's going to be annoying, but whatever. Um, let's see. Oops. Let's get that there. What was I saying? I was saying something. Now I don't remember what I was saying. I think, oh yeah, I made this, a trophy zombie, I don't want a trophy zombie, oh yeah, so the starlight, I watched a, you know what, let's put this in a different house, because I really don't want this in my house, <laughs> let's put it in here, uh, the great and wonderful, there we go. Zombie God, I guess. Um, so I watched a direwolf video on Starlight, and it was just the very basic. So as you can see, um, I have an area right up there on top of that mountain. So he said that the workbench, the the crafting table, the actual one. Uh, this thing, uh, the luminous crafting table, 
it needs to be up high, which I kind of already knew. Uh, but he showed the difference. And man, is it different. And um, there's also something that you can make in... Um, let's look up Astral. If you look at... Where's it at? This thing. Uh, the Skywave Resonator. If you make that and you hold it in your hand, you need liquid starlight though. Um, you can look at the ground and it will show you like a dark cloud. Uh, if you can find one of those with white sparkles in it, that's the best place to put your crafting table. Now, it also works, I think you can like build up from there all the way up. Um, not all the way, but up pretty high. Uh, and it still works, like it's still that good area, that's where you want to build because you're gonna have to build a nine by nine structure around your crafting table. So it's gonna, you need to find a permanent place for it. So uh, right now my, my crafting table is up high, but it's not, uh, if we take a look, if we go over there, it's right here. So if we take a look, it's almost full being here. Now I checked uh, at midnight, that is, where's the moon? It's going down. At midnight, that's the highest it is. So as it goes down, it starts, your bar will start going down. Uh, I checked over there, which is slightly higher. Uh, it actually has less energy than right here. So this must be kind of one of those darker areas. I can't see that. Um, but the more I learn about it, uh, the more I want to learn more about it because it seems kind of a cool mod. Like, I'm really excited to start with it, like, a lot. So, um, these were all done. I don't know why they weren't registered, so I went in because uh, we did it in a video. So, it's not like... I mean, I have crafting tables. I've had a lot of crafting tables. Um, they just weren't registering. So I went ahead and registered all of these. We'll get all of these marble. I went ahead and um, mined some from the bottom of that. That's why it looks a little funky on the bottom. Uh, go ahead and claim that. Uh, the sooty marble is marble wrapped around... A piece of coal, I believe, is how that is made. Uh, the resonating wand we've done. And the luminous crafting table we've done. So the next thing we need is liquid starlight. That's how we're going to get our bucket of starlight. You throw, you, you make one of those, you put it down, you throw those blue gem things, the, oh, uh, these things, the aquamarine in it and uh, you get starlight out of it. You can do it during the day, but at night you get more out of each aquamarine, and in that special place you get even more. So um, it's better to find a, a good place before you actually really get start getting into the mod. So uh, yeah, I will be making this thing as fast as I possibly can. <laughs> so I'm going to, I'm going to make this light. Well, uh, so I got some ruined marble from the big marble structure where that crystal was. Uh, there's some of that there. Uh, there's some of the chiseled marble. So when you find one of those structures, go ahead and tear some of it down. And, um, and then we'll have, we'll take one of our smaller rocks and uh, let's see if you wanted some of the tools. Ooh, whoa. Oh, yeah, that's. Yeah, if you wanted some of the tools, you'll need the grindstone, this thing, uh, which is simple to make. You can make that in the regular crafting table. Uh, and then I think you'll need it. I don't know. Uh, when you use it, it takes your crystal from uh, the cutting part of the crystal. 
it will increase that, but the size will decrease when you do it. And don't like keep right clicking it. Just put your crystal on there, right click it once, and then shift right click will get your crystal back, take a look at it, and see if you wanna do it again. Don't keep right clicking it or you'll break your crystal um, because it goes fast. It's, yeah. So I recommend watching Direwolf's video Hopefully when I get to know the mod more and understand it more, I'll do my own tutorial on it because it seems like a really interesting uh, mod that you can do a lot with. I can see how it would be really kind of cool in more of a vanilla pack where you don't have Tinker's tools. Um, I would like to do tools because it seems like they would almost, like you can almost make them unbreakable, which is kind of cool. Uh, so. I think that's it for today. Uh, my kids have a snow day. There's like ice on the road and then a light dusting of snow on top of it. It's kind of yucky out right now. And uh, where's my, there's me. Uh, let's see, I don't know what else. Oh, my husband has a day off. So I gotta like, you know, cut my recording kind of my recording day short today so um i do have an episode for you guys tomorrow and yay oh those are a hundred oh nice nice so i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know what you think down below uh we're gonna have to build seven more of these houses she hasn't asked for a single thing yet that's interesting. Uh, so I've been building these up. This is the tier three or level three. That's a level two. That's a level two. That's a level two. That's a level three. No, two. That's a level three. That's a level two. <laughs> like I've been trying to like level them up. I'm keeping my builder busy all the time. Um, but I also want more people to work. So I need fishermen, miners, uh, a baker, I need these people in my life. So, uh, yeah, I need more people to like come and live in my village. So we need to get these bu buildings started and then leveled up. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think down below and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.